All right, now we're going to get into some of the more interesting part of this discussion. All right, uh, so far we've looked at a color guide and we've reduced the uh, way that the formulas were expressed in the, in the Pantone color guide to ratios. And we talked about using ratios as the way of doing a bunch of calculations. Then we uh, create, created a scenario where uh, we sent ink to the press, lost no ink, and added something to it, and calculated some ratios. Then we reached another scenario where some of the ink came back, and, uh, but, but some was missing. We lost three pounds in the process, and we added something, another pound of reflex. We recalculated our ratios, and now we're at this point. So now we have some ink on hand of this formula. And now we're going to get into working off inks. This is some of the more exciting part of this stuff, okay? This is the stuff where you uh, have ink on your shelves, and you want to figure out how in the heck do I get rid of this ink? This is it. This is the stuff that does that, okay? Now there are um, programs out there and, you know, tools, uh, uh, software, ink, automatic ink dispensing, and, and all of these things work off inks and stuff. But there's a lot of us out there that just have, you know, a, a modest facility. We don't have sophisticated devices. We don't have sophisticated software. Maybe we bought some of this stuff at some point. We never figured out how to use it. And we, we wouldn't mind doing it manually or better yet even just creating a simple spreadsheet that we can use to, to, to work off our inks. But I'm going to go into the math of how we're going to take this ink here, all right? And we're going to come into a, an opportunity to use some of it up. And then um, uh, uh, we'll explore a couple of scenarios on, uh, according to that. Then we're going to end up with a spreadsheet that I promise you guys. But um, uh, we're going to create two scenarios here now, okay? We have here some ink. Let's say that our operator did their final stuff and said, okay, now we return 25 pounds of this formula to the system, that color that's uh, like some 185 with a little bit of reflex added to it, okay? So that's where we are right now. We've got 25 pounds, all right? And uh, somehow we document this and we put it in our system and we write it in a log book or a spreadsheet or something like that, whatever it is that you use right so we've got 25 pounds in this stuff now the scenario that we're going to explore is uh, is two one um, we're going to look at a situation where we're going to be able to take all of this ink and use it up on another ink okay but then we're going to come into a more a slightly more complicated we're going to put a little more twist to that right and uh, we're going to run into a situation similar, but where we have too much work off ink, we can't use all of it up. But how much? How do we decide how much of this work off ink do we use? Right? Okay. So we're going to explore two scenarios. Okay. Now to set that up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use some of this grid here. I'm going to take advantage of this, and we're going to do a, a couple of things. All right. All right. And I'm, so. I'm, so now we got 25 pounds of this formula here. I don't need this stuff here. I don't need any of this, but I do need the colors. I want those base colors. So I'm going to erase this stuff here. Let's get rid of that. Okay? Okay. Now these are our bases. All right? And these are our ratios. Those are our ratios for this formula, okay? Okay.
Okay, and we have, of this here, we have 25 pounds. Now, this is in our inventory, and we're going to call this, in this uh, scenario, it's going to be our work-off ink, okay? So this is our work-off. Work-off is ink that is sitting on our shelves in storage, and we find an opportunity to use it in a different formula, and we work it off, okay? So that's what we kind of call it in the industry. All right, now, now, now here's the thing. We're going to, uh, because we're tracking our inks and we know our formulas, we're keeping an eye out for opportunities, okay? So along comes this color. And oh, it just happens, so happens to be a, a, an old job. But now here it comes again, okay? But uh, let, me, let me say one thing. Anything like this, warm, rubin, and reflex blue, uh, that you use up again, it's likely it's going to be it's going to go a custom color. This is a custom color, and it's probably going to be a custom color. So along there comes this custom color that you've run of all this. Hey, wait a minute. That color has the same basis as these here, okay? So now, that brings us to how do we identify, how do we uh, identify what is a, a work-off color that can be used in another color, okay? And the answer is simple. This is it. Work off can be used if. Oops. If. This is the simple test. <coughs> All base bases or colors in work off are present in what we'll call the new ink, the ink that we're going to blend. In the ink being blended. Okay? Alright, I write that down because it's important. Ink, work off ink, can be used if all the base colors, warm, rubin, reflex, if all the base colors in the work off are present in the ink to be blended, okay? That's the test, alright? So now we're going to set up an ink, this new ink that we're going to run that's an opportunity for users to work off, is going to have to have uh, all these bases present in it, okay? Just a different formula. So here we go. Uh, 